Hello dear crypto friends and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about the dog coins, the dogs. So what are the dog coins going to do? Will they be more like woof, 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 woof? Or will they be more like Let's try to find out what the dogs are going to do. If they will pump, will we see new all time highs? And if yes, when? So we start with a long term Dogecoin or Dogecoin chart. Um, and if we look at Dogecoin, always in the logarithmic chart, please keep in mind the y axis is always logarithmic because else it doesn't make sense to look at the coins. If we look at this chart, we can see that this looks oddly familiar. Like I have seen this somewhere before. Where have I seen this before? Well, friends, I will show you where I have seen this before. You will be quite fascinated to see where I have seen this before. I have loaded another coin here. Look at the insane, hilarious similarity of what this coin was doing and what this coin was doing. Left is Dogecoin and here on the right is, you have it friends, XRP. What? What is going on? What is happening here? Yes, friends, look at this here. Dogecoin turns out behaves like XRP behaved in 2017. So we identify, of course, this area here where Dogecoin was pumping, was wobbling around. But let's be honest, for about, um, I would say, three years, not much happened, right? OK, there was this pump here, but it was wobbling around in an area of 0.004 plus minus for about three years. Now compare this to XRP, which also had a quite similar behavior. XRP was wobbling around for three, three and a half, almost four years before it went on a massive run. It went on a massive run here in 2017. Now compare this to Dogecoin, who suddenly went on a massive run in 2020. What the hell is happening? So if we want clues about what Dogecoin could do in the future, we have to look at XRP. So XRP, after this massive run, we know that famously at XRP didn't perform quite nicely this run. Let's put it mildly. It didn't perform nicely this run. So it went up, right? It went up and then it fell down to this level here, this level. So this was the lowest low. And how low was this? Well, this was about the area of this strange intermediate area here, right? If we zoom into Dogecoin, this would be where the area of support would lie, right? If we zoom in here a bit, we can see what can we see? We can see that this here is a massive area of support given by this wick candle from July 2017. It was reached again in March 2020. So this would mean for Dogecoin now, if we go with a similar fractal scenario, that here lies the area of support at around 0.042. Now this might sound a bit brutal right now, but keep in mind that this is some really long term stuff. So this would mean that Dogecoin would trend down for a while now, would trend down. We get the intermediate pumps, of course, in between. We get this week down and then the new uptrend starts. And I suppose that in 2023 or 2024 at the latest, we will see new all time highs, right? This is, of course, based on the logic that Bitcoin right now will continue dumping and we are entering a Bitcoin bear market for the remainder of this year and that next year or the year after that, because please don't forget in 2024, there's Bitcoin having and the dollar index at some point will start dropping. The dollar cannot pump forever, so there will be a dollar drop and then the next Bitcoin rally will start. And then, of course, Dogecoin and all the other altcoins will start pumping. That is clear, right? So this, of course, depends on Bitcoin's behavior. If Bitcoin would start pumping uh, tomorrow like crazy, then, of course, this is illogical. Then we can assume that Dogecoin will not go back to this area. Then we can assume that Dogecoin will start already pumping very soon. So this fractal similarity to XRP, of course, only makes sense if BTC now enters at least a sideways action or downish trend where we could call it a bear market. You know, so Bitcoin is not making new all time highs. 
that is the scenario where dogecoin reaches this area here and then pumps in 2023 or 2024. This is the behavior of Dogecoin. I found it really interesting that there's such a similarity with XRP, right? If we go again, let us go into the Doge BTC chart. Let us go into the Doge BTC chart. What can we see? We can see something very fascinating. Doge was in a descending trend for many, many years, which is absolutely hilarious if you think about it, that it was actually in a descending trend. So respect to anyone who had invested a lot in Dogecoin because this breakout here was absolutely not foreseeable based on past performance. So if you look at the past performance of Dogecoin, it was trending down for <laughs> since 20 from 2014 until 2020 for six years this mofo was trending down all the time and then suddenly it goes completely crazy so this was an unforeseeable i would call it white swan event based on elon musk's uh, sudden uh, endorsement of dogecoin um so this was not foreseeable right but now dogecoin is entering something new a new area where we have no data points yet we don't know will this be an ascending channel now will this be again a descending channel you know will dogecoin now form another channel like this one or will it create a new ascending channel friends i i am honest with you nobody knows because new territory has charted which has nothing to do anymore with the old dogecoin behavior but price wise if we look at doge ust and compare it as we said before to xrp we can say that dogecoin probably will go lower and then in 2023 or 2024 we see also dogecoin new all-time highs how high will dogecoin go how high will it go well if we try to use the fib levels we see that the fib levels are not crazy enough to warrant for that high here because even the 4.236 fib extension was not high enough for the dogecoin peak as crazy as it sounds so we will have to wait now how low dogecoin will go and if we say it goes down to that support area and then pumps again then we of course take the fib levels and we go to the full fib extension and then we can say that roughly the dogecoin target for the next cycle depending on when the next bitcoin rally will be will be at around 12.9 okay that is a, a bit of a precise number will be at around 13 dollars plus minus okay so that is the dogecoin picture that is the most likely scenario of course as i said if a miracle happens and bitcoin starts pumping like crazy tomorrow or next week because suddenly the dollar index is dumping like crazy of course then dogecoin will pump already quite a lot sooner and it will then in that case not go down as low as 0.04 now if you look at shiba the other big dog like the other big dog um, then we can see that shiba is actually quite funnily also repeating doge right let's compare let's compare shiba to doge or to xrp and we can see that Chiba has actually done a very similar pattern, right? This here can be identified with this here. And we have also the sideways area is identifiable with this here. And this thing here is identifiable with this here. Because actually Shiba, the chart is so crazy that it came down from here somewhere. And it was even a lot lower. If we go into the historical Shiba Inu chart, let me just open the historical shiba inu chart then we can see that it is crazy the behavior look it made actually it did what bitcoin did in 10 years okay the growth that bitcoin did in 10 years it replicated it in one year so we are talking about a growth here look at the price in december 2020 it was like i don't know how many zeros one two three four five six seven eight nine ten zeros or something like that six three and now we are at four zeros two five. So we are like a factor of hundred thousand higher still. Hundred a factor of hundred thousand of growth in a matter of one year. This is what Bitcoin needed ten years to do. Ten years. So uh, this coin went full berserk, and 
there is not even the data yet because it was listed on exchanges when it was already in this last massive run here. So like Dogecoin, like XRP, we see a very similar pattern, right? So we can identify these things with corresponding pattern structures in XRP or Dogecoin. So if we say that this structure here represents this one, then Shiba Inu will also like Dogecoin. Let me just go into the ship chart. Uh, it will also go into this area here given by this wick candle, right? It will also revisit this support area, something like this. It will go down to 0 0.000005, like, okay, five zeros, 504. And then we go to new all-time highs again, as in the case of Dogecoin uh, in the 2023 or 2024. Uh, that's, of course, also, again, strongly depending on the performance of Bitcoin, which in turn, again, is strongly depending on the stock market and what the dollar index will be doing. So you can see all the coins are interlinked uh, and depending strongly on Bitcoin and Bitcoin is again depending on macroeconomic events. But that is my current picture. That is the most likely picture. As I said, if a miracle happens, then Dogecoin and Shiba Inu can pump a lot sooner. So in my opinion, the, the two dogs will be more like instead of woof, 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 woof. at least for this year in 2023 or in 2024 they will be again like barking like crazy and we can sing who let the dogs out and stuff like that and the memes will be back and so on and so forth but for the time being if no miracle with bitcoin happens and let's take a look at bitcoin right let's just go to our good old bitcoin chart let's load the long-term chart we see that this trend line has broken now and it is quite likely that Bitcoin enters some kind of bear market-ish territory and it will take a while until Bitcoin resumes the uptrend. I had the theory, if you watch my video from yesterday, I have the theory that the dollar index will dump in early 2023 based on a fractal similarity. So that in 2023 we have a Bitcoin rally and consequently that will also be the target date where Dogecoin and Shiba Inu will pump. Let's go back again to sh the shibe. Let's go back to the shibe, right? And then let's try to think about targets. So we again use retracement levels. If we say that we revisit this area given by this wick candle here, we again use our Fibonacci retracement and extensions. And the target would be 0 0.0015 in 2023, 2024, okay? So this is the area the target area, the likely or possible target area for Shiba Inu. So this was a video talking about the dogs. It's also important to talk about the dog coins. We should not neglect any altcoins just because we think they are, I don't know, oh, I don't like this or that coin or whatever. We should be open to all coins. Why? Because we can earn money with all coins. That's how simple it is. It's, I always see people like, oh, this coin is a shit coin. No, this coin is a shit coin. No, that one. Uh, guys, come on. Uh, all coins have some certain kind of value or use case. And if they don't have a use case, then at least they have some funny names and memes, which is also kind of cute because it makes people laugh. And this is also a use case, right? So we shouldn't be dismissive of other coins just because we don't like them. You can make money in this market with the stupidest coins ever. Like the stupidest coins ever, you can still make some nice gains in this market. That's the beauty of the crypto market. So that is my current picture about the dogs, friends. It all depends on what Bitcoin will be doing. And as I said in the last video, uh, we go back here and this in turn will depend highly on what the dollar index. Sorry, let me deactivate this here. Uh, let me go into the monthly chart. This will highly depend, of course, on what the dollar index will be doing. And I think the dollar index will continue pumping in some form. So we have to just hope that there will be this intermediate dump, which I predict for 2023 currently. That is my current picture. As always, this can change. So in 2023, there are quite good chances that the dogs will go to new all-time highs. But until then, it will be a brutal year. 
the dogs will probably repeat what XRP did in 2018 and 2019. If you found this information useful, please like and subscribe or write a comment or flame me, tell me that I'm an idiot or something standard, you know, standard, the standard YouTube stuff, like the standard YouTube behavior. I wish you a nice day and then I would say see you in the next video. Bye friends. Thank you.